Well, Fisher House Foundation is dedicated to serving those who have served our country. That's right. Fisher House builds comfort homes where military and veteran families can stay free of charge while a loved one is in the hospital. Ken Fisher, Fisher House Foundation Chairman and CEO is here to tell us all about it. Ken, thank you so much for being here today, sir. Thanks for having me, Mike. So, Ken, let's talk about yeah. Fisher House Foundation and its origins. Mm -hmm. Where did it start? How? Back in 1990, uh, it was brought to my late uncle, Zach Fisher's attention that there was this basic yet underappreciated need that families of those who wear or have worn our nation's uniform had no affordable place to stay if their loved ones were receiving treatment in a hospital, whether it be DOD or VA. And Zach, you know, being the kind of guy he was, wanted to be part of the solution, not somebody that just pointed out problems. And so Zach said, look, I'm a builder. I'm an archi I, ha I have access to an architect. I can do this. And so that's, that was the origin of the program right there. It was, it was one man, one conversation, one idea uh, that has now grown almost into uh, what will be soon 100 houses. And you're really involved with uh, them. Well, you know, for 100% complete disclosure, I am on the board of trustees for the Fisher House Foundation. I have been for now almost 14 years. This has been probably one of the proudest associations I've had in my life. Oh. Part of it is because of what they do. Most people do not understand. Our veterans, or not our veterans, but our, our servicemen and women don't make a lot of money. So let's say, you know, I, I, there was a, an eight year period of time where we were seeing body bags come back every day and guys coming back, flown in, they stay in Walter Reed in the hospital. But for a family member to go and visit them, where do they stay? And so that's where Fisher House fills in the gap. They are there to allow the family members to stay for free. And you don't understand how much joy it brings to their heart. But for the veteran, what better way to recover than having the support of your family. Absolutely. And you know, one of the special things that happens inside these houses is, you know, they're not just free lodging. I mean, that takes a lot of the burden and the financial stress, obviously, away. But what happens inside the houses, and Montel has seen this because Montel's been there, uh, is a support system forms inside each and every house. And so the families will lean on each other. They'll support each other. They'll share the joy of the good days and the sorrow of the bad, because unfortunately not every story has a happy ending. Sure, of course. But at the end, they have, they know that they're not alone. They, they, they have commonality of circumstance. They are going through something that only they can appreciate. And so having them, you know, as each other's caregivers makes them better caregivers and ultimately makes the patient a better patient. Absolutely. Ken, can you tell us a little bit more about like the facilities and the programs that are offered? Well, the facilities themselves are set up for long stays. We've had families stay in houses almost a year. Wow. We've had families go from one Fisher House uh, in the Department of Defense uh, when they transition to the VA, they'll stay in a VA Fisher House. So we've had families stay in houses, you know, for over a year. A uh, year and a half. Uh, the houses themselves are like any private home. I love seeing families' reactions when they come into the house and they say, is this for me? This is where I'm staying? What separates Fisher House from a hotel is when you go home to a hotel and you shut the door, that pretty much ends your association with the outside world. But what sets Fisher House apart is when you come home, you had a rough day and you want to decompress, but you want to do it with people that understand the kind of day that you had, all you have to do is walk downstairs and go into the, one of the common areas, the kitchen, the living room, the dining room. They, they sit together, they eat together, but they support each other. If one family has to run to the hospital 11 o'clock at night and they were doing laundry, another family will finish the laundry. I've had families come in where their food has been wrapped up and put in the fridge for them for later. We say that this is where the family healing starts. Fisher House also provides other services. You've got a scholarship service program and all kinds of, talk a little bit about it. When we expanded, we expanded in family oriented ways. So we're a family organization and that's, that's where we're staying, that's our lane. And so what we've done is we expanded into a program called Hero Miles where people can donate unused frequent flyer miles to us and we in turn will buy tickets for family members so they can go back and forth because life doesn't stop for a, a family going through this medical crisis. 
We've got a hotel program that operates much the same way, except with donated credit card points. Uh, we also have three scholarship programs. We've got one for military children that we administer with the Defense Commissary Agency. We have one for military spouses, and we have one that uh, President and Mrs. Obama helped us start, uh, a legacy scholarship program that is geared towards the children of 100% disabled or those who have given their lives in the line of duty. So it's an amazing, amazing uh, road that we've been working on. It's really important for us to hear from some of those families that you've helped. Take a look at this. I'm the soldier first and then an athlete. I've had the fortune of staying at a Fisher house on three separate occasions. The first time was after I was in Iraq. The second time was after I came off ECMO life support. And the third time was when I had my left leg amputated. The love and support that I got while I was there changed my life. I had my brothers and sisters there to educate me. He spent three months in the VA hospital here in Charleston, and that's how I um, came to stay at the Fisher House. I took him to Walter Reed, and he spent two weeks there, and that's where they did the genetic testing and found out exactly um, what it was. Conveniences of being at the Fisher House is the hospital is just right across the street. Uh, if you have numerous appointments there during the day, you can just leave your car here and walk right over to the hospital and don't have to worry about trying to get a parking place over there. I want to be here for my husband and always will be. What beautiful stories. Final thoughts, Ken? Well, I tell you, you know, as we hit the 100th house, that's, that's a milestone to be sure. And that will happen in 2025. But for the 500,000 guest families that have stayed in the Fisher House to date, we've saved them now over $600 million in lodging and travel. And, uh, you know, we continue to find other ways to support these families through our foray into adaptive sports, the Warrior Games and the Invictus Games, uh, where we sponsor the Family and Friends programs. But, you know, the one thing that I'm most proud of is that 93 cents on that dollar will go to it where you want it to go, which is helping our veterans and our military servicemen and women. And we've gotten 20 straight A-plus ratings from the charity watchdog groups that are out there. So and It's so good to hear that. 93 cents are used for this purpose. Everybody always wants to know, where does my dollar go? Well, now you know. So, Ken, where can people go if they want to get more information? It's fisherhouse.org. It gives you a variety of ways to get involved. You can donate. You can volunteer. Uh, as you've done so many times, lots of different ways to get involved, but these men and women deserve yes, our do. help. Absolutely. And he said donate, but I'm gonna say it again. Donate, donate, donate! Come on now. <laughs> it's, it's the real deal here. It is. And so I'm sorry, thank you so much. And of course, if you want more information, you can always go to our website, thebalancingact.com. Absolutely, and we'll take a sneak peek of Fisher House Foundation, and then we'll be back after the break. And thank you for what you're doing. Kudos to you too. Thanks, man. Until August got injured, I'd never heard of the Fisher House. It, it made it very easy to be there to support my brother. August had 20 surgeries. I don't know how my family all could have converged without the Fisher House. It provided a, a shelter. Family's the only thing you have, really. Them being there for me when, when I needed them to be. It's irreplaceable.